Fritz Coleman Weather. Fred Rogan, Sports. Jess Marlowe, Cover Story. And David Sheehan, Entertainment. Channel 4 News, Nightside, number one in Southern California. Good evening, everybody. Topping the news at 11, reports of drug use inside the San Onofre nuclear power plant. Southern California Edison says tonight that drug testing of plant employees will start next month. This after evidence of marijuana use by employees discovered 20 times in the last few weeks. The remains of marijuana cigarettes have been found inside reactor buildings. A spokesman says there's no way to tell if anybody actually ran the reactors while high on drugs. Kelly. Other news tonight. You might not realize it, but the country is celebrating an anniversary this night. It, it was exactly one year ago tonight that a little girl in Midland, Texas, Jessica McClure, fell into a well, and the whole world held its breath to see what would happen. For 58 hours, she was trapped in an 8-inch wide pipe, 22 feet underground. We saw terror, hope, courage, and triumph. Crews drilled nonstop through solid rock to get to her. Today, paramedic Robert O'Donnell remembers bringing her out. Her pupils reacted to the light in that tunnel. That was one of the greatest moments of my life. Until that moment, there were doubts, even then still, if we would get her out or not. Today, Jessica McClure is two and a half years old. She's just fine despite losing two toes in her ordeal. Her mother says she sleeps like a baby. She doesn't have nightmares. And the well is a tourist attraction. Cindy Collins is a neighbor. Seeing children out here holding their little teddy bears to give to Jessica with tears in their eyes, it was... And I did see a few men, men that were out here working that, that had tears. They weren't crying, but they had tears. It was very... Oh, it was so touching. Tomorrow, a special plaque will be dedicated in Midland, Texas. It is for Jessica, but it's also for the people who put aside everything to save a child. Police are searching tonight for a suspect in the murder of an armored car guard shot down in front of horrified witnesses outside a bank in Panorama City this morning. Armored transport guard Stuart Texan had just made a pickup inside of Security Pacific Bank across from the Panorama City Mall. When the suspect approached, he shot Texan in the head and seized his bag of cash. The suspect fled in a Ford Ranger, later found abandoned nearby. Police say he is black, 5'10", and walks with a decided limp. In Highland Park today, a, blah, a bomb blew up in a man's face. Police claim he was a rejected lover, and it was, in fact, his revenge plan that exploded. Police say 33-year-old Roger Rush was apparently trying to plant a pipe bomb under his girlfriend's car. Police say she had rejected his marriage proposal. It went off badly maiming his arm and burning his face. Rush fled the scene, but police caught up with him later. They found another bomb in his car, which they dismantled. Rush was booked into a hospital jail ward. Kelly. Politics now. Who won the big debate? It's no surprise George Bush and Michael Dukakis both claiming victory. Jess has details in Cover Story. The day after the debate found both candidates campaigning in California, and for Dukakis, this state is critical. How critical became apparent this morning when the Reverend Jesse Jackson was called upon to join the candidate and local leaders, urging Democrats to get out the vote. Dukakis was trying to put the best face on last night's debate. Later in Sacramento, Kitty Dukakis proclaimed victory in spite of overnight polls that suggest most viewers regarded George Bush as the winner. I know about the polls. I just know that people who are being questioned after that debate are making up their mind in Michael's favor. And her husband, the candidate, appearing with his running mate, was no less certain, saying that in all three debates, the GOP swung and missed. I don't have to tell you what three strikes mean. You're out. The consensus is that although Dukakis failed to dent Bush's lead, he did manage to come across as more likable, an effort also emphasized in new television commercials. But if I were a young father today, I'd want to know that my government wasn't blind to the changes in my life. George Bush was in Cerritos, confident he had won last night, but on advice of AIDS, he was trying to avoid appearing overconfident. We came at each other pretty hard, and when the smoke cleared, it was pretty clear where we stood, and I believe that I moved my campaign forward by what happened last night. The rally, however, had all the trappings of a victory celebration, and barring major missteps, the celebrants expect to be enjoying the real thing after November 8th. As to other debates, Dukakis would like more. Bush said today flatly, no, no more debates. Jess Marlowe, Channel 4 News. 
Other news tonight, hundreds of people who have flown on Northwest Airlines have recently come down with food poisoning, some cases quite severe. Investigators think they have now found the source, contaminated lettuce in the kitchen at the Minneapolis-St. Paul Airport. All the passengers who got sick departed from there, so investigators think they have now solved that problem. High insurance rates and new laws are threatening the California tradition of skateboarding. As Patrick Healy reports, it's still very popular, but the sport could be heading for a wipeout. It's riding a new crest of popularity. Yeah. Skateboarding has its own pros, its own lingo. You start doing it, and you get stoked on it, and then you don't want to do nothing else. Yeah, this is rad. But sometimes at a price. This was here, I just recently injured um, falling down just on the street. Others reported hurt on skateboards have ranged from rock drummer John Ferris of NXS to the late Fred Astaire. Last year, the U.S. government counted more than 91,000 skateboarding injuries, most outside supervised skate parks. New laws in many cities limit public skateboarding. It was safety of, of the skateboarders, of the motorists, of the pedestrians, and of course we're also uh, extremely conscious of liability exposure of the city. Meantime, the alternatives are disappearing. The skate parks are also feeling a squeeze. In recent years, getting insurance has become all but impossible. The pipeline in Upland is one of only a handful left in the whole country. And no longer up to operating without insurance, the owner reluctantly plans to close. So then uh, they take the streets and the sidewalks away from them, and uh, it really is killing a very, very good sport uh, that kids are involved in, and, and there's certainly nothing wrong with it. This is the first time the kids have had a chance where we know where they are at night. We know what they're doing. They're happy, they're contained. Despite the enthusiasm, skateboarding's future is, at best, up in the air. Patrick Healy, Channel 4 News, Upland. Hmm, all right, coming up, Fritzy tells us what the weather's going to be like for World Series game number one and two, plus why animal lovers put shoes on a goose. Uh-huh, and David Sheehan has a weekly report on what's hot in the video stores tonight, movies where the real star is the soundtrack. <laughs> Do you know what to do when someone dies? Are you knowledgeable about making funeral arrangements, buying cemetery property, or deciding on cremation? Pierce Brothers Information Service will be helpful to you before you make a decision. Our 28 locations provide convenience and affordable prices that can be guaranteed in writing. We will even come to your home to show you our total plan starting at only $494. Call Pierce Brothers for information before you make a decision. I'm Dick Van Patten. As a TV father and a real life father, I'm concerned about the state of family life today. For useful tips on improving the relationship with your children, call Northridge Hospital Mental Health Institute's Child and Adolescent Program and ask for your free communication tips brochure. Northridge Hospital also offers a free series of seminars on parenting adolescents. Call the Child and Adolescent Emotional Health Program at 818-885-5348. Only at Furnishings 2000. The Furnishings 2000 Not a Cent event. Make no down payment. No monthly payments. Do not pay until February of 89. And pay no finance charges on the furniture you've always wanted. Living rooms, dining rooms, bedrooms, bedding, and more. Take this fabulous five-piece dinette. Sale price $388. This fantastic five-piece dinette with four matching oak armchairs. $488 on this five-piece dining room. The table and four matching chairs. Sale price $588. Furnishings 2000 for you. Political extremist Lyndon LaRouche and six of his associates were charged today with conspiracy and fraud. A federal grand jury in Alexandria, Virginia, found that the group had borrowed more than $34 million, mainly through telephone solicitation, with no intention of repaying anybody. Kelly. All right, that brings us to Fritz, and we're talking, hello. Hello. Weather. Man, <laughs> we're talking Santa Two Anna. big World Series games. I think we're going to do fulfill our part of the weather bargain here and give them a nice warm day for baseball tomorrow to be great. Oh, we love it. A little it. Santa Ana to cool it off 15 to 20 miles an hour out of the Northeast. Good. Perfect. Well, let's go to Hastings, Nebraska. We've never been there for a weather shot. Meet a local hero. It's Andy the Goose. <laughs> now, look at his feet. When he was a little gosling, he had a problem with his feet. They didn't Aww. work properly, so they put size zero baby shoes on him. Now he can walk and swim faster than any other goose in the pond. <laughs> we love it. And he's a local hero. He's the big guy there. All right. Look at him. Thank you for sharing that, Fritzy. <laughs> I like this kind of story. Well, you give him flippers, he get hydroplane. Yeah, that's didn't right. It? There he is. High of 73 and a low 62. 
<laughs> he walks like my son, too. <laughs> 63 right now, the barometric pressure 30.02, and rising humidity 70%, winds out of the south at 5. We had a high today of 73, and uh, whatever the low was. <laughs> I'd like to take this opportunity to invite you, because I don't think you've seen enough promos for it, to watch my hour show tomorrow after the news after the World Series. What time I, is that? Th that would be in the 9 o'clock area, mm -hmm. hoping that the game doesn't go over. But I ask not for me. No, I have a job. I'm asking for those uh, actors whose uh, attention uh, you deserve. Wait a minute. Who deserve your attention. And uh, we hope you'll do it. And I also do some acting in this show, and it's worth to watch that. And if you're an aspiring actor, you want to watch me act just so you feel so good about your own talent. Be sure to do that tomorrow night about 9 o'clock. It'll, it'll be fun. It's an hour of fun. On it's somewhere Fritz. between Warren Remembrance and, say, Porky's. Something in that area. <laughs> so it'll be a lot of fun tomorrow night. Well, we're warming up in the Northeast. That cold spell that lasted about a week is coming to an end. Freeze warnings, however, for one final night in Georgia and South Carolina, but much warmer tomorrow by 15 to 20 degrees. Raining east of us, that front has passed through, and it gained a lot of strength in its eastward movement. Phoenix got some street flooding today, two and a half inches of rain, and a lot of wind damage back there, a real wind type storm for Phoenix. For us, Santa Ana is quickly developing in back of that storm that's moved to the east, an offshore flow. It'll be an entire weekend of Santa Ana's, sunny and warming temperatures, mid-80s tomorrow in the valleys, north-northeast winds 15 to 20 miles an hour, and downtown on Sunday we could be up at 90 or slightly above. But I'll tell you, it'll look great to the rest of the world, although it'll be a little warm for us. Overnight lows tonight will be in the mid-50s throughout the valleys, upper 50s at the coast, and daytime highs tomorrow. Look at that Riverside San Bernardino temperature. March Air Force Base is having an open house tomorrow. It's a great place to take the kids out there and learn a little bit about the Air Force. Mid and upper 80s in the valleys, mid 70s along the coast. That was an unpaid uh, political and uh, public service announcement too. Variable clouds tonight, low 58. Tomorrow, a little Santa Ana, high of 88. Mostly clear skies and warmer. And the Santa Ana will continue probably through the first part of the week. Now, what day do they go up to Oakland? Uh, be, uh, Tuesday, Tuesday, I think. Tuesday, I think it's Travel probably. on Monday. Yeah, we'll be Play in good shape Tuesday. up until that point. Okay. Have All a right. good weekend. Thanks a lot, Fritz. He's got uh, tickets. Yes, go ahead. Scandal of sorts brewing in San Antonio, Texas. The city's extremely popular mayor, Henry, mayor that is, Henry Cisneros, admitted today that he's had a long-running love affair outside his marriage. Cisneros had long been considered one of the most respected and successful Hispanic politicians in the country. The woman involved is Linda Medlar, who has worked for years on various campaign fundraisers for Cisneros. She, too, is married. And here's something a little different. Imagine this, an, an Elvis anti-drug album with the theme Get High on Life. Now, apparently this almost happened because we have now learned that President Nixon asked the king to do this during a secret meeting back in 1970. Probably, uh, Presley eventually got a badge as an honorary federal agent from Nixon, and when he died, of course, in 1977, he had traces of numerous drugs in his body. Coming up next here, David Sheehan has rental videos that help make weekend parties rock. But first, the golfer who wouldn't give up. Sports, next. SANE is substance abuse narcotics education. Our children's future depends on it. Call 213-946-SANE. All the splendor that is the East is here for you to explore. The Pacific Asia Museum in Pasadena. Come, let the wonders unfold. All men and women have a secret fantasy, desire, to meet new people, share experiences, or make new friends. Just call 976-2040. Really experience your dreams. Don't wait. Share your secrets. Call 976-2040. Your phone bill will be charged $2. That's 976-2040. Call our dream line, 976-2040. Only $2 plus toll, if any. Call now. Make your dreams come true. Channel 4 wants you to know which groups are supporting the various insurance initiatives on the November ballot. Each proposition promises to cut auto insurance premium costs, and a couple limit lawyers' fees as well. Proposition 100, the Good Driver Initiative, is backed by a coalition of consumer, legal, and environmental groups. The major sponsor is members of the California Trial Lawyers Association.
Proposition 101, written by Assemblyman Richard Polanco, is primarily funded by the Coastal Insurance Company, the parent of public insurance. Proposition 103, the voter revolt to cut insurance rates, is backed by a coalition of consumer groups as well as Ralph Nader. Proposition 104, the No Fault Initiative, is sponsored by California insurers, agents, and brokers. Since these ballot propositions are complex, study them early and carefully, and be sure to vote on November 8th. All right, Brett Lewis in for Fred and I. Fred says there may be a Santa Ana during the first game tomorrow night. If that's true, I hope it's blowing in when the A's are at bat. Yeah, it could be. Could be. It's, it's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good game. Game one of the World Series starts tomorrow at 5 right here on Channel 4 and NBC. Tim Belcher will start for the Dodgers against Dave Stewart for the A's. Belcher, who was with the Oakland organization last year, is the latest unlikely Dodger hero. He won two of the games in the National League Championship Series, now gets to start in game one of the World Series. It's a dream come true, you know. Um, I think all I need to do is just approach it like any other ball game, though, and I can't imagine the, the excitement and pressure being any greater than the LCS. Stewart is a former Dodger who is not going to be lulled into a false sense of security by the fact the Dodgers only batted 214 in the league championship series. He thinks their lineup is a murderer's row. They've got a good bunch of hitters, um, starting with Steve Sachs. Uh, dangerous if you allow him to, to get on the base. So, uh, you know, you take each guy and, and you work um, according to their weaknesses without avoiding my strength as a pitcher. But there are some good hitters in that lineup. As if this series needed any more hype, Don Baylor of the A's has given it to us. He says his team traded reliever Jay Howell to the Dodgers because Jay is not a pressure player and couldn't save the big games. Al says Baylor has taken too many forearms to the head. Neither man would repeat those statements for us on camera. Rest of the A's are not so obliging with the nasty quotes. They say all the right things about the Dodgers being a great team. This is going to be a tough series. Let's stop talking, start playing baseball. It's just a story. It's a more exciting part of the game. Fans come up here, they come pumped up when it's E.J. Howell. I'm sure they're going to say, yeah, and, and uh, Don Baylor gets up against Howell. The crowd's going to go berserk. I think it just uh, makes the game a little more exciting. Actually, I got no comment at all because uh, I don't know what's going on. I've come here to play baseball. <laughs> so, I mean, whatever takes place is going to take place between the lines. All the pre-game hype, pre-series hype, you can have it. Beat us out there. Our strategy is knowing how good Jay is, we're going to try and keep him out of the game, just like you would any outstanding closer. So uh, knowing Don, I know is an explanation, you know, something whether something misconstrued or I don't understand, but I don't agree. The Rams are now overstocked at wide receiver. Ron Brown is coming back. He agreed to a one-year contract today. Brown retired last spring to return to track, but failed to make the Olympic relay team. Terms were not announced. Don Nelson, coach of the Golden State Warriors, as always looking like he's having the time of his life. Lighten up, Don. You're in Honolulu. Lakers in yellow. Warriors in their second preseason game. Lakers on the fast break with Byron Scott finishing it off. Lakers beat the Warriors last night, 126 to 107. Ralph Sampson still thinks he's a guard, still missing jump shots, setting up more fast breaks for the Lakers. James Worthy gives to Byron Scott. He misses, but look who's there on the follow. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar getting ready for his farewell NBA season. It's slim and trim Magic Johnson with a drive and scoop shot. Right now the Lakers leading 27-26 to in the second quarter. Can they hold on? The Clippers won tonight. They beat Sacramento 125-115. to In hockey, the undefeated Kings have the night off. They'll host Philadelphia tomorrow night at the Forum. In Calgary, the Flames hosting the Oilers and one of the most vicious hits you will ever see. Mark Hunter of the Flames in white catching Kevin Lowe of the Oilers on the boards and leveling him with the elbow. Lowe was out cold, had a cut on the back of his head, forced to leave the game. Hunter given a five-minute major for that little trick. Flames won the game 6-1. to one. In Washington, the Capitals in white against Toronto. You're about to see a painful moment in the life of the goalie, Alan Bester of the Maple Leafs. Jeff Gordonau of the Cats with the slap shot. Bester caught it right in the stomach. That's going to hurt in the morning. <laughs> Heck, it hurts right now. He was able to stay into the game after a break. The Maple Leafs went on to win it 3-1. to one. Also in the National Hockey League, St. Louis and Detroit in an overtime tie. Buffalo beat Quebec. Montreal and Winnipeg also won. In golf, the United States has been upset at the $1 million Dunhill Cup golf tournament in Scotland, the U.S. beaten by Ireland. But the most frustrated golfer was Mark Moland of Wales, who had a little trouble getting out of the infamous road bunker on the 17th St. Andrews. That's right, the club was loose. That was it. So we try again. 
Try it one more time. Yeah, I think that club is still loose. Pack it a little tighter. There you go. Now try it again. Took him seven shots on that hole. <laughs> Virtually gave Australia the victory, but hey, you've got to be happy for the small victories. Sooner or later, you get it out of there, it works. Well, That's I can, sports. I can identify with that <laughs> okay, one. Okay, <laughs> right. big weekend Thanks, coming up. Thank yeah. you, Brett. Still to come for us, David Sheehan shows us some rental videos that make you want to dance. Next. You can change the face of crime. How? Match to prisoner visitation. Dial 1-800-4-A-MATCH. I'm the detective in charge, and you know how I figured out what done in Mr. and Mrs. Finkel? True, there was no motive, but there are clues everywhere. Bowling trophies, broken tennis racket. They had been active people once, but then they quit. It's too late for them now, but not for you, kid. Keeping fit is no mystery. Just find an exercise routine you like and stay with it. Bored? So what are you waiting for? An engraved invitation? If you're alone, lonely, or just plain bored, call 976-0690. People just like you and I are calling this very moment, and they're having fun. It's true. Call now and listen, and then join the fun conversations. 24 hours, $2 plus toll, if any. Come on. Call now. 976-0690. A full three minutes of fun conversation. Good evening, friends. Ralph Williams for Wilson Ford. A giant weekend sale in our new car and truck department. Every new 89 slashed in price. For example, 89 Aerostar XLs, $10,989. Short supply most places, not at Wilson Ford. 89 Probe GLs with air and stereo, $11,389. Brand new 1989 Taurus Ls with automatic and air, $12,389. Now, the 88 Broncos and Range, 89 Broncos and Rangers are not out yet. And 88's in extreme short supply. The 89's going to cost more money. We're cleaning out 88 Bronco 2 XLs for area and stereo for $10,988. You get the rebate from Ford to do with as you so desire for $400. Big supply of 88 new Rangers. These are Super Cab XLTs for $9388. You get the rebate check direct from Ford for $500. Do me a favor, don't buy a new Ford car or truck without first coming to Wilson Ford this weekend, located at Beach Boulevard, Huntington Beach. People Magazine picked John F. Kennedy Jr. as the sexiest man alive for 1988, but he says his love life is tame. Young Kennedy has been linked with actresses Daryl Hannah and Catherine Oxenberg and singer Apollonia, but Kennedy says that's all fault. He's got a girlfriend, actress Christina Haar. See, we straighten those things out yeah. right here. All right, finally tonight it is Friday, and that means David Sheehan's here to tell us what's new and what's hot at the video store. And tonight, David says it's not sight but sound that's hot, yes? Exactly. There is music in the air and on the shelves in the video store this weekend, thanks to a multitude of new movies about music on tape. Tokyo Pop is the newest and I think the niftiest, complete with an outstanding debut performance by Carol Burnett's daughter, Carrie Hamilton. Yeah, in fact, Carrie Hamilton's singing and acting is actually what propels the fun and fascination of Tokyo Pop's Clash of Cultures storyline, playing a rejected New York rock and roller trying to make it in Japan instead. Why do you have to be so, so Japanese about everything? Salsa is also new on video, but not nearly as nifty and not nearly as much of a movie. It's more like one long dance contest on tape. <laughs> Satisfaction was TV's Justine Bateman's big break on the big screen, where it did very little business, but its story about starting an all-girl rock and roll band is worth the rental price, I think. I no La Bamba is still one of the best bets and biggest selling movies about music now on video, and it plays even better at home than it did in the movie house. You're not so mighty little. Round Midnight is also more watchable on tape than on film, I think, for some reason, making the melancholy mood and music of saxman Dexter Gordon a totally involving reality for anyone with the slightest interest in the subject. <laughs> And 
I think around midnight is going to get a big boost at the uh, video store from the new release of Bird on the big screen because jazz is also in the air this weekend. Huh? You bet. Yeah, All right. Yeah. Thank you very Thanks much, David. David. And that is going to do it for Night Side. Have a great weekend. Go Dodgers. You bet. Thanks for watching. Good night, everybody. <laughs>